Hello again, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guides. And here we are in the final segment of our four-part series on creating story from our video footage. So we've taken our narration or our interviews with these two people and we've built a very nice narration track that tells the story. Now we want to fill out the story. As I said, you want to listen to the audio cues. What is the person talking about? If the person says, it was a snowstorm, we want to cut to footage of the snowstorm. If the person says, my dad was really proud of his car, we want to see dad with the car. In this case, the interviewer is talking about the traffic and about how heavy the traffic was on the beach that day. Watch how I now cut away to my footage of us seeing traffic on the beach. Now you as a videographer, of course, want to be cognizant of this. You want to be aware of what's going on. What is it that when people tell the story, they're going to want to see. So you want to be shooting all the time so that you have this kind of B-roll footage, but watch how I added visuals to enhance what the narrator is talking about. And these visuals, of course, are going to hide some of the cuts I made in the interview itself. We wanted to go to the beach and it started out so terrible. It was really, really crowded. There was not even a place to park. We were ready to give up. And then Rody, Jessica's husband, just remembered that he knew some people that he does some work. Now, don't worry, we know that's not mixed well. We know that the, the music is now too loud. We can't really hear the narration. We'll fix that uh, when it comes actually time to do the mix. But you can see how I did. I cut away to visuals that help tell the story. So what else can I use for visuals? This is where it gets kind of fun. This is what I call character development or scene development. We're grabbing footage that really helps to maybe not necessarily tell the story, but fill out the story. For instance, if I go up to this footage here. Hi, Hi, Bowie. <laughs> this is kind of cute. This is when we first arrived. The kids are playful. They're hugging. They're greeting each other. They're walking to the beach together. It's long. It's too long to use as is. The audience's attention span for visuals is around four or five seconds. So pacing with the music, what I'm going to do is slice this up into little pieces. We'll see them getting out of the car. We'll see them hugging and we'll see them walking arm in arm to the beach. And that will be kind of my opening before we get to the interview itself. We'll see us arriving and we'll see how joyful everyone is to be there. Likewise, since we're talking about a day at the beach, we're going to use a lot of the footage here I have in Project Assets, bits and pieces of footage on the beach, trying to mix long shots with close-ups of individuals to really tell this story. And I want to just show you what the final mix looks like here. So here is the beginning. You'll see how I cut that up to build the montage. And then we go into the interview where we hear the woman's voice or Kathy's voice first. Then we cut to her face and then we cut back out to our B-roll. Watch this. Definitely my favorite day was Sunday. We wanted to go to the beach and it started out so terrible. It was really, really crowded. So you see how I've done that. And here along the uh, video two track, I've got lots of cutaway footage to our time on the beach. Now, rather than show it to you in its raw form, why don't we take a look at what the final results look like. Here is the story I created from random footage of a day on the beach. We wanted to go to the beach and it started out so terrible. It was really, really crowded. There was not even a place to park. We were ready to give up. And then Rody, Jessica's husband, just remembered that he knew some people that he does some work for on the side. Well, I uh, got, got some uh, good friends that uh, have, to have a place out here and they let us come out and enjoy their beach. Jeez, it was so, nice to have friends like this. I'm telling you, they're very nice people.
turned into the most wonderful day. Oh my gosh. So we had this private beach where we just kind of hung out and then the lady came out and was so gracious. Why didn't the kids come and swim in her pool? And they had this beautiful pool they swam in. And it's just a fun, relaxing day. And that's the way it's done. Isn't that cool? We now have a story. We have something to hang on to for the audience to sort of invest emotions into. If you'd like to know more about all the wonderful things you can do with video editors, especially Premiere Elements, Vegas Movie Studio, Platinum, and Cyberlink Power Director, be sure to check out all the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about them, certainly check out our moviepix.com guides. They're available on amazon.com. I'm Steve Rossetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.